I know that's what you came for. Let's do it. This thing sounds so good. Another awesome 2022 Aprilia RSV4 factory and ultra dark. Right off the bat, guys, do you guys prefer the original gold forged wheels on this bike or the black forged wheels that we put on the recent 2022 RSV4? I'll post a picture or video here now. And guys, this thing is amazing. Yes, I'm gonna turn on this SC Project exhaust for you guys in a second. And I will explain to you what makes this exhaust unique versus the 2021 slash 22 SC Project exhaust that is offered. This is not that, this is slightly modified. And I'll tell you why we prefer this one. So awesome upgrades on this bike. Huge thanks to Sim. I'll tag him, link him in the description below. Why don't we get right into the exhaust? This is the SC project SC1R exhaust not for the 2021 slash 22 models if you'll notice and I think I can insert a picture or video of the other version here but the 2122 model is a little bit longer a little bit more narrow and it has a carbon fiber heat shield there but we kind of prefer this one right now because one it's a little less expensive it looks a little better because it's you know slightly shorter and since it's a little shorter it sounds just that that much louder, maybe that much deeper. Some of you guys might already know. All we had to do to make this fit is cut off the tab that used to live right here that is designed for the previous generation foot peg that would go there. So I'll turn it on for you guys in a minute, of course, and then take you on board so you can hear this thing on board and also give you a highlight of those Rizoma mirrors. What else do we see here? The quickly becoming a favorite, the NRC Fender Eliminator. You see that in the tuck position. It's pretty trick. Why don't we turn on the turn signals? There they are, pretty slick. I mean, you can see how flush it is with the stock tail light, so it doesn't add any bulk from the profile perspective. And from behind, it's pretty effective as a turn signal too, so that's pretty cool. We are loving the NRC New Rage Cycles Fender Eliminators right now for the current gen Aprilias. What else do we see? A lot of CRG crash protection, like the main frame sliders, which are specific for 2021 and RSV. Fours, different from the Tuonos because of this bigger fairing. So we also have the RNG front axle sliders. RNG is definitely known for being pretty beefy. And the rear axle sliders, keep in mind if you choose this version, you're gonna need a, a rear stand that can get in front of this big puck. We do have one at the shop. I don't know if the pit bull stands will work, but anyway, what else do we have? We have tech spec, definitely our favorite tank grips right now. They look good and they're very effective, a little more aggressively. You're gonna wanna be able to hang on with your lower body and release some of the tension from the clip-ons by hanging on to that gas tank. So quick note about these RNG frame sliders though. You'll notice that the fairing kicks out a little bit. You see that kind of pushes the fairing out. You have the option of cutting part of that fairing to eliminate that space. We chose to not permanently modify that original bodywork because, um, you know, it looks all right. You don't really notice it unless you look for it. If you prefer frame sliders that don't do that, I'll link them below. They are the EvoTech Italy, not EvoTech Performance out of the UK, but they are the EvoTech Italy. Now the Rizoma Stealth Mirrors. In my opinion, guys, right now, this ultra dark 2022 RSV4 wears these black Stealth Mirrors better than any other motorcycle right now. Why don't we have a seat and I'll show you the rider POV of those mirrors. So in my opinion, guys, these mirrors are designed for high speed as the goal, right? So you can easily close them and they become an actual winglet that adds downforce at higher speeds. So great for track days, great for high speed runs, but if you need to be able to look behind you, there you go. You might get some of your arm, but it's very easy to just dip or turn and determine if something or someone is behind you. We also have Rizoma folding and adjustable levers, very specific for the 2021 RSV4s. You guys see that clearance? You see this bend, how it kind of flattens out here right at the top of the master cylinder it gets really flat and then kicks out that's to clear that fairing so be aware of that if you're looking for aftermarket levers for your 21 or 22 
RSV4. Here's the left side, no issues there. And what we love about these is the micro adjustability there. You see that? Let's get some light on it. Here we go. The micro adjustability of these Rizoma levers. They're billet aluminum, of course, and they fold. In case of a tip over, they fold, pretty much guaranteeing that they will not break and you can continue operating the brake and clutch if needed after a drop. What else? GRT, Gabro Racing Race Map, performance map on this bike. As you see there, it's got the race description on the dash, which also puts the front turn signals in the headlight. It's kind of bright out right now. Not sure if you can see that. Let's see if I could turn down the exposure. I don't think I can, but there you have it. Keeps it nice and sleek. Beautiful, beautiful bike. Now let's hear that SE1R SE project on this. 22 RSV4, let's do it. That thing sounds incredible. Which do you prefer, the SC Project SC1R seen here or the Akrapovich seen on the other 22 Ultra Dark? Maybe I'll patch in a video to compare the two here right now or check out my other videos. I'll do a short video of these two exhausts back to back. Let's quickly go over here to the shifter side. We added a GP shift on the stock rear sets by way of Woodcraft GP shift pedal there. Very inexpensive, very effective, nice little upgrade for the riders that prefer GP shift. quick cool fact about this bike this is our demo this is the exact bike that max biaggi rode at laguna seca just a couple of months ago i'll link a video of that at the top right here and yeah pretty cool fun fact i mean he actually rode it with the Rizoma Stealth Mirrors also. Am I forgetting anything? Next for this bike that did not arrive in time before it ships out is a either light smoke or dark smoke windscreen. We're just gonna ship that to him so he can install that himself. And uh, all right guys, why don't we get on this thing and go for a ride? Let's do it. All right y'all, now let's get on this awesome bike and uh, bring you along for the ride. Oh yeah, did I point out the spider gas cap? I'll link that in the description also. That's what the Rizoma stealth mirrors look like while riding this bike. This thing sounds so good. <laughs> It's a little louder than the Akrapovich, but still has kind of a full deep note to it. Not like the too short CRT or the new, I think it's called the S22 or the R22 that's coming out. The very MotoGP super, super short slash cut, which we'll be getting soon enough. And of course I'll share that with you guys. Now that we're going into some traffic, why don't we open the stealth mirrors? Can you guys hear that exhaust note on D cell downshift? So good. Leave it to an SC1R by SC Project and Gabriel Racing out of Italy. Let's adjust these mirrors a little bit. There we go, much better. Nice cool day in Santa Monica, California with a little overcast. Good riding weather. Here's the cockpit. Beautiful. These Rizoma mirrors work great considering that they're 
designed for high speed first and uh, street use second. The perfect street slash track day bike mirror. Now let's go through your favorite tunnel to hear this exhaust note with a little shifting action. Beautiful bike. I love the gold accent and I think I do prefer the gold wheels on this bike versus the black forge. Really depends how Vader you want to get. Look how smooth the downshifting is with an open throttle. Love it. Thing sounds amazing don't forget to subscribe click that notification bell and see you guys in the next one